Hello there viewers and welcome to my prediction video for the Aust uh, Austrian Grand Prix. I was just about to say Australian then, but yeah, Austrian Grand Prix, which is happening today. So I thought, I haven't done many F1 videos recently, recently so I thought um, I ought to you know, do, a, do a few more because F1 2015 is coming out very soon. So we're going to get into the swing of F1 again. So th what you're seeing here is my original prediction um, on the GP predictor. So some of you have joined up to my league. So this is the prediction I made before qualifying. So I said Vettel would win with Kimi Raikkonen in third, Hamilton second, which is fairly interesting. Could still happen, but um, it's unlikely given that Kimi Raikkonen qualified a bit further back. So we're going to take a quick look at the grid before the penalties. So what you're seeing here is how they line up or how they lined up before all the penalties were applied. So the thing that strikes me the most there is that Kimi Raikkonen was down in 18th. He didn't make it out of the first part of qualifying. Uh, he blamed the team for bad management, but at the same time, he should take some of the blame himself because everyone had the same track to deal with. Everyone had um same tyres. It, it was a open track for him. Well, he had traffic, but I mean... Um, it was up to him just to manage it himself in some situations like that. So, disappointing from him to be qualifying all the way down there. Now, of course, Lewis Hamilton qualified on pole. And he was, in fact, quite surprised because uh, Nico Rosberg normally goes very strong. And last year, Rosberg qualified pole. Uh, no, Ro Rosberg qualified third, sorry. And Hamilton was down in eighth, I believe. So, he was a bit a lot further back. It's probably a track that Lewis Hamilton doesn't normally go strong at. So, it's quite ominous that he is on pole. Uh, Sebastian Vettel... In a quite close third, just two temps down on Rosberg. So we're waiting to see if he can spring a surprise in the race. Nico Hülkenberg up in fifth there. Obviously on the high from his win in the 24-hour Le Mans. So he's got some momentum there and he's up in fifth, which is very good for Force India. And Max Verstappen, again, another person with a very good qualifying up in seventh. So we're just going to take a quick look at the grid after after penalties have been applied. So you can see there, um, not much change at the top, but it's at the bottom where you're going to have a look. Um, so in 18th, you've got Daniel Ricciardo. Um, so he, he had a big penalty there. And the two McLarens for changing a lot of their engine components or the engine units exceeding the limit of five parts, I think, or four parts. They, they, they Some of the parts they changed to their sixth one and some to the fifth. And so they have very big penalties so Jensen Button has a 25 pay, uh, place penalty which is why you can see with the three stars next to his uh, car that he has to do a 10 second stop go penalty within the first three laps of the race I believe um, to make up for the fact they only lost three positions so he originally qualified 17th I believe but so he can only lose three so that leaves 22 positions so they give him a 10 second stop go penalty within the first three laps. So his race is pretty much going to be just for testing or getting engine mileage. Well, I mean, they, they McLaren are really disappointing me recently. I mean, they should really be... I know they have had... Honda had a year out or didn't um, compete last year, but they're really disappointing me. And Jensen Button at Alonso must be getting really quite annoyed with having to put up with this um, really poor car that they're getting, being given. But elsewhere on the grid, so Kimi Raikkonen is up into 14th, which isn't so bad. Um, so he can still get in well into the points. Probably not a podium because the top three there will most likely run away from the rest of the pack. Uh, it's just a question of whether Sebastian Vettel can keep up with the, with the Mercedes. I think in race trim, I think the Mercedes will probably be too strong. I don't think he'll be able to overtake, get past and overtake both of the Mercedes. He might be able to get into second but I just I don't think he'll um, be able to win the race despite my original prediction but that was before qualifying when I thought he would get on pole because remember last year obviously the Williams got on pole and second they locked out the front row last year so this is a track where Mercedes is probably a little bit weaker or Ferrari a little bit stronger compared to a normal track but as it stands I think one of Hamilton or Rosberg will win the race and Vettel might be able to split them. But it's, it's, it'll be hard to judge exactly what will happen. Maybe if a safety car comes, it might help Sebastian Vettel. 
Um, like, like in Malaysia, they could do an alternative strategy. So a bit further back, um, Valtteri Bottas in sixth. I, pre- I predict that he'll, um, he'll move forwards. He'll probably end up fourth, I reckon. He'll get past Hulkenberg, maybe Massa. I think he's typically the stronger of the two Williams drivers. Uh, Max Verstappen is seventh there. Normally, I would say he'd probably go a little bit backwards, and I would say that the two Lotus cars, Roman Grosjean and Pastor Maldonado, will move forwards probably to about seventh and eighth, and then in the last two positions, so ninth and tenth, for points, you might have, I reckon, probably Nico Hulkenberg, and maybe a Sauber, or maybe um, even uh, Max Verstappen or Carlos Sainz. Normally, one of those. Four, so the two Force Ninjas or the two um, Toro Rossos, they're normally in the last, they're normally in ninth or tenth. So I reckon one of those four will probably finish ninth and tenth, just behind the two Lotuses in seventh and eighth. Um, so that's going to be that's my prediction for the race. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, obviously, there's not much time left until the race actually happens. There's only um, a couple of hours until that happens. But anyway, yeah, let me know what you think. And if you're watching this after the race, then you can see how wrong I was or how right I was. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know what you think down below, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.